We are little more than the things we choose to believe. Our fear of moving sidewalks, our love of campy foreigners movies, these are the things that make us, us. Like the clay of life, our beliefs not only create us, they connect us to each other. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate robots. I hate them because one time when a robot could have saved my daughter, it saved my life instead. The day was March 14th, 2017, plus 100. Our car sinking fast under a torrent of waves. I saw the robot's hand reach out and my heart rose as I imagined my daughter's rescue. When the hand came for me instead, I screamed so loud that bubbles filled the sea for generations. Ever since then, I can't look at a robot without getting angry. But time and people do what we call quarters, change. And it was in this cafe, on the anniversary of my daughter's drowning, that my beliefs finally shut down and rebooted, much like a robot drenched in salt water. Hello, waiter. Thanks for the coffee, I uh, really needed it. Hi, um, do you mind if I sit here with you? I wouldn't normally ask, but this guy I dated is about to come in and I need it to look like I have a boyfriend. You get it, right? Uh, yeah, I get it. Which must mean I'm as crazy as you. <laughs> Just, um, uh, talk about dating. So how did you like the Italian restaurant that we ate at last night? Uh, yes, it was Italian. They had pasta for sale. Mm-hmm, yeah, uh, uh, fafale. Yes, and sushi? I'm sorry, I'm doing a really bad job at this, no, aren't I? you're really not, you're doing great. Just, um, talk about how you kiss me. <laughs> okay, sure, if you say so. Um... I kiss you on your forehead? Yes, good. And your privates? <laughs> okay, I'm definitely doing a bad job at this. No, no, you're great. Just say whether you like to put your fingers in my ass or not. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> uh, weird much? But, yes. That makes me happier than anything else. I think we convinced him. Like he's running out of here like a puppy dog with his tail oh. between his legs. <laughs> cool. You're uh, you're pretty good on your feet. I'm not, but thank you. Oh, I'm down. Hi, Clark. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm sorry, meet you. I guess I'm still a little flustered from talking about your ass. Well, uh, I should get going. I have to go to court to contest this parking ticket I got from the stupid cyber police. Wait a second, you hate the cyber police too? Yeah, completely. Especially when they give me tickets for the most normal thing. What's that? Parking, parking in, in front, front of, of a fire, fire hydrant? hydrant. Yes! Oh my god! I just feel like if a fire truck really needs to get to the hydrant, they could just sneak, sneak the, the hose, hose under, under my, my car. car. Yes, completely. I, I thought I was the only one who believed that. No, to me, it's obvious. I mean, hoses are flexible, right? <laughs> yeah, um, and did I miss something? And a car is so low to the ground that a hose cannot fit underneath them? <laughs> I mean... You're amazing. You are too, cowboy. I really have to go. I can't afford to pay for this ticket right now, so... Hey, um... I really liked when you said that you liked fingering my butthole earlier. Jan, wait! I'll pay your ticket. What? I have a little bit of money saved up. See. I'm the president of a group called All Robots Must Die. It's an anti-robot hate group I started because one of them saved my life when it should have saved my daughter's. So frustrating. 
Anyway, we just had this big fundraiser, and I can use that money to pay for your ticket. Uh, Clark, I have to go. No, Jen, you don't get it. I'll pay. Clark, do you know what Jan stands for? Jennifer? I mean, honestly, who cares? Jandroid. As in the Jandroid 5 from Robocorp? Clark, I'm a robot. No, 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 you can't be a robot. The robots are number-headed button punchers, all right? They are cold-hearted logicians who would run a program uh, to determine whether my life is worth saving or someone like my daughter. She was just four years old, exceptional at reading. Clark, you can't blame the Jandroid for the death of your daughter. These, these programs have a purpose. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you sideways. You know what? You are a robot, just like the rest of them. I don't know why I ever fell for you. You must have infected me with a virus in the way that robots often do. Clark, the way we feel for each other has nothing to do with me being a robot. We connected. Yeah, yeah, connected like a USB cord does to a fucking vibrator. Okay, a lot of them charge with computers these days. But you wouldn't know that, would you, Ms. Robot? You can't masturbate. I would know that, Clark. Because I can masturbate. And I can fall in love. Yeah, bullshit. Okay, I hope you fall in love with a toaster and drop it in the tub with you by accident. Okay, I hate you, Jan. I want you to die. I'm sorry, Clark. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. And good riddance. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, she's a robot, and robots are what I hate. I don't want to disturb you. I just, I just came back from my newspaper clipping. Oh, what, you mean this piece of crap? Human rescues robot from a burning building, but leaves the robot's son behind. Jen, this story is about you. The same thing that happened to me, it happened to you in reverse. Yes, Clark. And for a long time, I thought I would hate humans forever. I mean, I even started my own hate group, Human Haters Anonymous. But that all changed when I met you. I just wish you felt the same. Jen, wait. Maybe you're right. Maybe we are more similar than we think. I mean, it's a crazy world we live in. We, we park in the driveway and drive on the parkway. But you and I, we have a bond. Both of our children were killed in accidents. Clark, what is this? It's a hand. And if you take it, we'll go on a walk. And where that walk leads is just as uncertain as the future of robots. Let's see if we can't write a new program. You and me. Let's see if we can't, Jan. Let's see if we can't. <laughs>